This is Chris, the Idaho painter. In this video, I'm gonna be painting a wrought iron fence. Got a wrought iron fence right behind me. We're using a cap spray, HVLP sprayer from Titan to spray this fence. And I've got a video that we've actually sprayed one of these fences before using this sprayer, but we use the gravity fed gun. And now we're gonna actually be using a remote cap spray pot. And I'm gonna show you the convenience of this pot. And one of the things that this thing actually does for you is you got this pot and you can actually hold it or actually hook it to your belt and spray with just the gun itself and now you can turn this gun upside down and actually spray underneath the fence and stuff without the gun actually sucking air so it does add a whole lot of convenience the pot itself is actually larger so it holds more product so you don't have to refill as much and then the gun itself it's actually got this whip on it and makes it easier to actually whip this thing around and spray so I'm going to show you the process of spraying this fence with the convenience of this remote pot we got a product that we're actually using. It's an all surface enamel that we're spraying this fence with and we're actually reducing it by 12% with a latex extender to help it flow and actually level out a lot better and give it um, a, an extended dry time so it doesn't dry too fast. So I'm gonna show you this process. We're gonna get out here, we're gonna start spraying this thing. You can see we're already spraying it now. I've got, it was white and now we're actually turning it to a coffee bean color. So here we go. So I got my latex extender, I'm gonna be mixing this stuff up at uh, the proper ratio. You have to play around with it with your product. We've actually played around with it to get it to spray and gel out nicely. And uh, what we actually came up with was 12%, but every product's differently, so you're gonna to have to mess around with it a little bit. But you definitely wanna, anytime you're spraying with an HVLP sprayer, we typically, with latex products, we always typically cut them down with a latex extender. If we're using lacquers, we always cut them down with a lacquer thinner using an HVLP VLP sprayer. Got my product, my all surface enamel. It's a gloss enamel for this fence and it's a great product for exterior use. Now I've got my pot. I'm just going to be mixing up my product and then putting it inside my pot. It's really simple to use. I'm just going to un unscrew my pot, release the pressure, unscrew it, fill it up and then away we go. The unit is very simple and easy to use. This is an excellent unit, the uh, Titan Caps Ray 115. I got a couple videos on using these things and how to operate them. You can check out those videos at the end of this video, but we're gonna get um, out here and start spraying this thing. So I'm gonna load this thing up and get going. So to just load this remote pot up, all I gotta do is just unscrew this thing. I got my pot, and I'm just gonna fill this thing up with my product. I gotta get it, my product mixed up. Uh, my latex extender in there, I mixed up. I'm gonna shake it up and then put it in that pot. This pot is extremely lightweight. You can actually just hook it to your belt or hook it to yourself and spray. Or it's actually, once it's even full, you can just easily hang, um, hold it in your hand right here with this hand, this handle that it's got right here and spray with it. The gun and whip is extremely light. So just like this, you can spray. But I typically actually just, just hang it on my belt and that way I got two hands free to spray and um, go through through my spraying process. It's almost ready to start spraying the fence. We've been spraying, but we've mixed up some product and now we're gonna get going again. And one of the reasons why we actually like using an HVLP sprayer spraying a fence like this, it, you can really control your overspray. You can dial down your spray pattern very small to spray these pickets right here. And in the past, we used to use an eight, or, uh, airless sprayer, but then you used to get a whole lot of overspray and waste a whole lot of product. Now with these HVLP sprayers like this, like this Titan cap spray, we hardly get any overspray. You don't have to have somebody holding the drop cloth behind you because there's just hardly anything fall out. And anything that actually oversprays the picket flash dries really fast and it's not gonna get on anything. But you, you'll see us actually spraying and you'll see some mist in the air, but we're not concerned about it. An airless sprayer, it would send out overspray all over the place and somebody would have to hold a drop cloth to actually stop that. So this thing, will save a whole lot of product. You'll probably, you'll probably use about four times the amount of product using an airless sprayer and a 110 tip versus the, the cap spray HVLP sprayer.
So as we're spraying right along here, you can see what we're doing and you can see as I'm getting underneath here, I can spray underneath the bottom side of the fence a lot easier and I don't have to worry about the cup turning upside down and sucking air. Also with the pot, you know, remotely or on my belt loop or in my hand, my gun hand is actually a lot lighter. It's a lot more easier to control. So we're using a size five needle, spraying this wrought iron fence. Do you get a lot of questions what size needle we use spraying cabinets and we actually use a size three needle. Now that we got this fence all sprayed both sides here, I'm going along and doing touch ups just using a small little weaning nap. This is just a little two inch weaning nap and also just a nice fine bristle brush right here to do the touch ups. Anywhere where there's light spots, I'm just rolling it with this nap.